Oh my god, I love what I see. We do have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn, and we have the Star in Reverse. We might be a little bit lost about someone, but they are definitely not lost about you. Um, King of Pentacles shows up, um, you know, upright, close, wanting to provide, wanting to nurture, to love, right? Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn energy. And the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I know they might not be paying attention at this moment. They might not be fulfilling their responsibilities. They might be uh, busy elsewhere, uh, focused on work, learning a skill, making money. Maybe at some point right now they feel insecure, but they definitely expect the ships to come home. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles again. For some of you, this is like someone waiting for you. King of Pentacles again, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn waiting for you, expecting results, expecting to see you, wanting to travel to see you, expecting healing, Ten of Swords in reverse, expecting this, whatever is hurting both of you to be over. It's a strong energy, right? Finding a solution to. And the King of Pentacles in yourself. Oh, isn't it amazing? Right, two masculine energies might be. Um, I might be uh, picking up the energy of two masculine, but we know in tarot we don't have really masculine and feminine. It's um, just energy. So, so Aries, let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, and it is definitely reunion. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. There has been rejection, and there is reconciliation again happy moment can can be somebody traveling to see you also yeah, so let's see but absolutely a happy reunion with someone who has been rejected there was no nurturing no love no connection no stability and then boom so aries past energy is on your side the person you are dealing with <coughs> and mutual Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome. And I say January 2021, but we know how it goes. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles in reverse. We open up, we take risks, we see everything. So Aries, what happened in the past, we've um, made a very emotional decision and very intuitive, very sensitive. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and the Two of Swords. I feel this is your energy and this is one of those situations where we went against our nature to make a decision, right? We know when Aries takes control, um, it's an action mode and yet we've been in a situation that required a very emotional decision. It's kind of like doing the right thing emotionally, right? So, um, and I don't know if we rejected someone and we want to reconcile or they want to reconcile looks like more their energy. Um, but I kind of feel right that, um, very emotional, very, um, energies of cups and a very sharp after thinking for a while with the two of swords to do something about it. And, uh, this is what we've done. And your decision made them confused, um, Aries, the seven of cups and the ace of swords in reverse, your lack of communication. Uh, maybe the message was not clear. Maybe it was, um, you know, Queen of um, Cups is also the emotional intelligence, right? So we we wanted to preserve the person and maybe we, um, you know, um, dressed the truth in something that was very sensitive to the other person and uh, to the person receiving it and actually might have created confusion, you know. And even the lack of communication afterwards or whatever you decided to cut, um, Aries, because Ace of Swords, it's quite a cutty sword, um, right? Uh, it was confusing to them. Seven of Cups, uh, illusion by why. And uh, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Emperor in reverse, which is you, Aries, and the Lovers in reverse. So you might have made a decision that this is, you know, you might have fell out of love with this person and we've made a very um, emotionally fulfilling decision of saying, you know what, I am going to cut this emotional involvement or whatever was and uh, taking control of some sort, making really a choice, head over heart, right? Um, cutting the emotions and um, and going with the your emperor energy, right? The, the, uh, the energy of having a plan, taking control and, and being in charge of the whole situation. That might have been confusing, by the way. 
in the past. Um, so what are we right now? Well, so Aries, um, because Aries is number one. So it is a new beginning and waiting for the right time and for the right beginning. With the fool willing to take a chance, a risk, open up again. Um, you know, looking at the future and saying that is definitely something better for me out there. I've invested in something, so I know. And when I look at this, it feels more like I've invested in me, so I know I can handle this. Where I've, in, you know... I took the time to plant the seeds and now I'm ready, bring it to me. You know, that's a whole energy. And it has an element of waiting because we've invested with an element of, yeah, but I want excitement and I want new. And I want happy and I want colorful. Um, this is how the form uh, feels, right? And it's two different energies combined, so it kind of tells me, right, that we might be in a little bit of uh, two minds about, but in the same time we combine two excitement exciting elements the security of the three of wands multiplication of something you've you've planted um and the ships you expect and you know they are coming and you see them coming and the new beginning of i don't know what's expecting me but i'm in now this person of yours they do have the nine of cups and the six of pentacles in reverse so a little bit unstable again this energy of feeling that you are not kind to them but working towards wish fulfillment, of course, is the energy of you are their wish fulfillment and because they don't have you, somebody is out of balance and unable to make a decision because you are making all the decisions here. Um, it feels like you are running, right, the, uh, the whole um, um, show, actually, Aries. It feels like you are so in control and you know exactly what you want, right? That is a clarity of the mind that is uh, beautiful. And we know, and we know, we are out of confusion. So mutual energy is between the two of you, the Empress, which is kind of the Emperor energy, and the the Moon. Pisces um, energy, but I feel this is out of confusion and into abundance. That's exactly the energy we are picking up. This is both of you focusing on stability, abundance, money, security, and trying to overcome um, the Moon we know. It's depression, anxiety, fears, darkness, shadows. Um, confusion, illusion, right? We we want to stay, both of you actually, you want to stay in the light. And it's it, the light of the Empress. Very concrete, very hands-on, very abundant, very creative, and staying the course, right? And it's not an ordinary course, by the way. It's the one towards greatness, towards um, having everything we need, um, you know, being uh, focused on everyday life and um, and making money or um you know enabling resources to come to us that um that's a whole energy here so let's see the possible outcome we do have the eight of cups in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse i don't feel this connection is moving in january just yet we have here um you know um focusing on what's important in life money stability a job um, a call for a mission, and um, and we do have eight for someone. Eight is quite important, I would say. We uh, we have it uh, there a couple of times, but I feel when it comes to this connection, I don't think this is something you want to focus on. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like okay, let me focus on what makes me abundant. Um, that's the main main focus is abundance in January. And this person of yours, Seven of Pentacles upright and the Seven of Swords. So they, you have the Eight. That's interesting. You have the Eight twice. They have the Seven twice in exactly the same placement of the reading. Um, so they are very patient. They feel betrayed. They feel duped. They feel, um, you know, that um, something came from a place of dishonesty. And the outcome of this is being patient for all of this. Because they have work on themselves and you have work for yourself, which is... Um, overcoming fear and focusing on full abundance and um mutual energy is between the two of you we do have the justice in reverse and the page of wands in reverse i don't feel this connection areas will become balanced uh, in january i do believe that we have different interests at this time you and your person um and and they are a little bit confused and they have expectations and, and they wait a little bit confused again. You are their happiness, there is no doubt what they want. But <clears throat> we, 
when both energies um, come together, uh, we have confusion, we have injustice, we have poor communication, right? We have emotions that are no longer there. So I'm just saying, you know. And maybe for some of you, we are going through a third party situation in uh, in January. You know, we have like different energies here from different people. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, one very loving and the Empress, right? We have the Empress at the core of the reading, which is your main focus, their main focus. But we also have people gravitating toward, um, you know, around this connection. I'm just saying. But I feel for January, we have other concerns, actually. We have other um, priorities, um, Aries. So let's see what guidance we receive. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? Oh, definitely self-protection, the gardener. Definitely cultivating your inner soul, your inner world. Um, you, this is you, and this is your um, immediate um, satisfaction. We do have the distorted feminine. So Aries, if you are dealing with someone who is in need of help, you know, you have the gardener, so we better close the gate um, and um, and um, and let them heal themselves, right? They have work. We do have true love. This love is once in a lifetime. So they might, you might be loved by actually a distorted feminine, can be a distorted masculine as well. But we do have the gardener and maturity. We know better and we know um, what needs to be done. Bottom of the deck, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes and brings happiness to those around you. I kind of feel Leo, why Leo? <laughs> I kind of feel Aries that you are guided. You might be dealing with a Leo, by the way. There is no Leo in the reading though. Um, so we do have, it's interesting, right? Um, it's kind of like the universe saying, please be mature, mature about and please protect yourself. And we have distorted feminine and true love. Somebody might be loving in a way that doesn't fit your needs or uh, you know, they might have something they have to work about when it comes to love and connection. So, so let's see what this is all about. So let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow when it comes to this connection. And abundance is all over this reading. The gardener and abundance just preserve your... I feel, I don't know if it's about resources and somebody is distorted when it comes to money and we, that is something that, you know, they need to work on. But you do have the gardener, self-protection, it's kind of like protect your money, your resources, your abundance. And this is what we need to put back into the flow. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. We do have self-esteem. We have distorted feminine and self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So when it comes to this connection, maybe one has to be cautious about money and abundance, the other one about uh, self-esteem and bringing it back and, and um, you know, uh, multiplying the gifts we have within. We do have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness areas. When it comes to this connection, it was put there in order for us to grow and to learn patience so patience i accept that everything happens in divine order and bottom of the deck surrender to receiving support and love allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you so aries I don't feel you are guided towards this person at this time. It's actually you are asked to be in self-protection mode, to be mature about, yes, might have been love, but we are now disconnecting with acts of kindness um, and putting the effort where effort needs to be put. This is what I'm picking up here. Um, and it's interesting, right? Because you do have the Three of Cups just being happy. The first card out was the Three of Cups, happiness and celebrations. Um, and it comes from leaving behind the Five of Pentacles. It comes from leaving behind someone. But Five of Pentacles is in reversal, you know? Let's stay polite. Let's open lines of communication if we have to. Acts of kindness. Let's be um, 
but the happiness comes from the distance we put between you and this person of yours that might have issues, um, Aries. Okay? Um, so, hey, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.